okay i would like to say some small thing which is the fourth type of it is content item okay so content item is also one of the catalog type okay and in live environment we don't create it 100% we don't create it okay and if why it is needed is for interviews there are few mad guys okay where they will ask what is the dif what is the fourth type of catalog item they don't have questions no they don't know how to ask the valid important live questions so they will ask all these tumri questions okay so content type is one of the fourth type of catalog item and the name indicates like it's an item that displays some content as simple as like this right so a record producer will create a record an order guide will do something we will we are just going to uh, discuss a deep in order guide okay a normal catalog item is to generate a request request item and a task and a flow and a something big big things right but a content item is just to, to show a content and it is a part of self-service so how we can understand content item is don't drag it okay let it let it make it very simple okay to answer only in interviews okay so see here we will see one simple content item okay company policies is the content item okay so this is also a catalog item right and we go here and we go to the catalog items right and we open that particular one search it and if you search it it comes like same okay then you have here right so how it is displaying here it's a content it's a content just an information okay and especially the content is displayed a kb knowledge article this is actually the knowledge article and the content item is displaying a knowledge article so when they are creating a content item company policies they point at this knowledge article to display simple this is one example right you are just creating a content item there is no variable there is no variable set nothing okay just to show where you want to show and then just to display here this is one way of doing it okay so part one clear right yes, sir. So part one is clear and this example, it is asking you to select a knowledge article because the content item type you selected as knowledge article. So if you say knowledge article here, you will get a knowledge article to be pointed and then it is mandatory. But if you say something else, okay, external, maybe maximum times it will be kind of external links, okay, or something. So if it is external link, now you can just point some okay service www.scapax.co.in you can point that also and when you are just opening it that content item will display understanding it my everyone yes sir okay so this example is clear everyone i went to content item table i just opened it nothing i just i didn't create anything i just so i'm just showing the samples that's it Sir, I'm not sorry to disturb, sir, but I'm not able to see the screen. I have dejoined. I have. Uh... Everyone can see my screen. You are good, sir. Yes. Can you reshare, sir, once? Yes, sir. Um... Please rejoin. Please rejoin. Okay. Okay, sir. Right. Okay. This is the first example and simplest example. Now, now second example, you see another content content one. Okay, there is a content item called password change. Okay, this one. Okay, we'll get scared right so you go here and get that content items list right and there is something called password reset password change okay sir if i want to change my account password do i need to always go and the contact services service now people or can i do it by my own okay yes service now allows you to do it by your own okay so you just go here right and then search for this one 
okay how you search okay where is where is that one no not this one right not this one also you just go here and go to the catalog item page right the content content item name is change password right so change password right and end users can open this form and this form allows you to change your password simple you give the old password you give the new password and you give the new password and then save it correct everyone yes yes sir okay sir the earlier one is displaying some data information okay but this one is not only data but it is also doing something else right so how you are going to man how this is actually developed sir earlier you showed it as a kb but now what is this sir okay well, how this content item is dis con created so this content item is created with a type external content and it is launching a url okay url something right very carefully notice one thing in service now whenever wherever you see something called dot dot do right how you how you can see the uh, service now version how you That's can see the start dot do right when you refer uh, when you refer dot do na it opens the ui page there is a technology there is a concept called ui pages okay so this is a ui page. there are these are all ui pages so it, it will come right these are all ui pages right so each ui page is designed in its own language okay it's no need to open it also if you open it now you will get lot of scare okay so start start do is a ui page and you are opening this ui page by saying start dot do correct everyone correct yes okay. sir and when yes, you are sir. opening this and it is getting some data and it is showing some data and blah 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 it is getting some where something and all we don't need okay all of this for now we don't need it okay maybe it is getting something this is jelly script okay we don't care now now what is care is is okay this is a what url you are opening from this content page is a ui page right and give me a second it, it starts with uh, underscore okay this unpersoned ui page will all also always starts with that symbol ma. what do you call this symbol dollar. dollar right so now this is a javascript okay kind of and the page that you see in here now the display page where, where is that page password reset page this page is designed here and once you give old password once you give new password everything you give and then okay this validation everything is done then this one will go and update in user table okay user table password field and that and all is written here okay if you have skills to okay read it everything okay then just go through it and then understand it but generally we don't care about jelly script because jelly script is not very straightforward very deeper okay so we don't want all of them right what we want is a fourth type of catalog item is content type content item and using content item you can display something that's it understanding everyone okay and in live environment maximum 100 percent we don't use content items we don't use at all got it yes yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. so only for interview purpose you can keep it okay so you can take two examples content item so if someone asked some mad guy asked this question okay so interview question okay what is content item okay have you created any content item
okay so content item is one of the types of catalog item there are four types of catalog item catalog items okay record producers order guides and content item the content item will be useful to display the content okay so for example i have one kb article okay the kb article is to uh, tell about service now recommendations best practices so we created one kb and in kb and kb underscore knowledge table so to display that kb to the end users in a simplest way i can create a simple catalog item using content item type and i can attach that particular i can attach to i can attach that particular knowledge article yeah. means kb to the content item so whenever they open this particular page in the self service portal this knowledge article will display will be displayed this is one example so the second example is out of the box one is okay so users can go and open a page to change their password they can enter old password they can enter new password and they can confirm the new password once they enter all of them okay there is a validation where the new password follows the guidelines okay so all of them we can have it and actually this is calling a ua page called password underscore something so content content item can be called a ua page also okay so if you still want to go a little beyond you can just elaborate these two other types also but this this level of understanding this level of explanation is enough have you created any content items in your experience no i never created it i created catalog items i created record producer i created order guides but i never created content item is that simple clear you are able to manage it ma if you get it yes, in interviews sir.